What's up guys, Evil D here, and today I'm speaking in English because this video is actually directed at the spouses of Esperanto speakers, and since English is the only other language I know apart from Esperanto, I figured I would speak in English. So, first up, as I said, this video is for the spouses because what happens with a lot of Esperanto speakers is either the husband or the wife, one of the two will really love the language, will start using, will start learning it, will get really in depth in the community, and then their spouse will be like, am I losing you? What's going on here? Why are you learning this weird language that no one speaks? That's, you know, you can't make money from, you can't do this, you can't do that. Why are you doing this? Why? Why? And I hear it a lot. And there was actually, I remember hearing this from another Esperantist like ages back. There was an award, I'm not sure if it was here in Australia or if it was overseas, but it was an award that was given to spouses of um, Esperanto speakers, to the spouse that was most supportive of an Esperanto but didn't speak Esperanto. So it's kind of a funny award, but it makes sense because there's a lot of Esperanto out there who had spouses, either husbands, wives, lovers, I don't know, um, that just look at Esperanto and go, what are you doing? Why are you wasting your time? So firstly, this video is for you. So if you have a spouse, if you're one of my viewers and you have a spouse who's like this, get them in front to just see this video right now. So basically, Thank you so much for putting up with our weird shenanigans, but um, what I wanted to say with this is you probably noticed by now that it's pretty impossible to convince someone to stop learning Esperanto if that's what they're set on, if that's what they want to do. So I just wanted to say just sit down, take a deep breath, and accept the fact that you've lost them. No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking, you haven't lost them. It's just, that's who they are. That's a part of them. And I'm guessing whatever reason you married them for or you fell in love with them for, it, this is probably one of those little weird traits that you actually fell in love with. You, you probably dislike Esperanto or whatever because that's just how it is. But this is something about them that is a core part of who they are. Um, even if they started learning it recently, it's just who they are as a person. So firstly, a big thank you for putting up with it. Um, as someone who has a wife who doesn't learn Esperanto, who's not interested in learning Esperanto, um, it's only gonna get worse in a sense because it becomes like a big part of my life It's like my hobbies my friends all that type of stuff for instance our wedding We had Chinese music because my wife is Chinese We had Chinese music we had English music and we had Esperanto music And we had the guy the, the guy who was handling the music was an Esperanto and then the celebrant was trying to tell her to change the music But he couldn't understand her English so I had to yell out across the wedding in Esperanto at it But you know this is just all part of being a part of the Esperanto community and you know what even though you don't speak the language you're a part of it now you're a part of it just by attachment I guess so I just wanted to say a big thank you to you and um, if you need maybe we can start a support group for spouses of Esperanto speakers um, because you're not the only one out there just understand that my missus is like that there's lots of Esperanto who have spouses who are just like why why are you spending so much time on this like can you please do something else? So maybe you guys can get together and have like a support group or something. <laughs> Spouses of Esperantis. Could you imagine that? You all sit in a circle and it's like, Hi, my name is Evil Deer. My spouse is an Esperaholic. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny. Anyway, I just wanted to like reach out to you and say thank you for putting up with us um, because I think this is something that my missus needed to see, but yeah. So thank you very much. And that's pretty much it. You can leave now. Yeah, go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Now is the Esperanto back. Chuvi Ravenis. Bonne bonne. Donni povas daudi Esperante. Char tio estas la play perfecta lingvo, ĉu ne? Do, se vi ŝatis ĉi tiun filmon, ŝatu ĝin, diskonigu ĝin, abonu mian kanalon se vi ankoraŭ ne abonis kaj mi vidos vin en la venonta filmo. Kaj se vi ne estos tie, mi supozas ke via amato mortigis vin.